absolutely adore our first our first guest today. He is wow, a lot to know about, about him. He's an actor, he's an avid adventurist, he stars in ABC's General Hospital. Ryan Pavey is here in our home. <laughs> so you go to work. First day of work, you're like, hey, I'm gonna land this soap, I'm gonna mm -hmm. walk in and I'm gonna nail my part. And yeah. that's not how it went. No, no. I had massive food poisoning on day one. Um, and I haven't really heard much about it since then, so I think maybe I did a good job of hiding it. Um, actually, I actually had to stop on the 101 freeway and let some things go. <laughs> yeah, before. on the way. On the way, on the way. Um, you know, it's not a job, especially being it's my first day and I have a parking place and a dressing room and like all this stuff. Yeah. I can't just call in and be like, I yeah, feel, I, I feel, I had some bad night. fish. Yeah. I, I don't right. think I'm coming in today, you guys. Can you get, uh, can you get somebody to do, no, it's just not that kind of job. So, wow. so I, I, you know, I stopped on the side of the 101 freeway and I had a minute and then I went to work and I was like, just get me through the next five hours. Oh just get me through yeah. the next five hours. Afterwards, you can be as mean to me as you want to be. Just get me through the next oh, no. five hours. And Whoa. I made it. It was cool. It, did cool. you have to take any bathroom breaks? No, I think by the time I got there, I had uh, I had much. let go of enough baggage. Good, that, so to speak. All that right. should never happen ever, ever again. But <laughs> but if, in case it does, it does, speaking of baggage, we would like to um, present you with something. a little gift. Hey, <laughs> you know I'm this feeling more bags all right. Than baggage. So the you know you know what yeah. these are. You've seen yes. these in the back of the airplane. I just yes. in case and you because I know you speak Japanese, but I'm going to read this in English. Okay, please. Instructions for use: You open bag, you place bag over mouth, deposit waste into it, not right. on the 101 it says. Not here. on the 101. No, 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 no. Is this from your DIY uh, segment? This is part yes. of our DIY segment, okay. yes, in case sometimes <laughs> they get bad, you know, it's just, and, and then seal and then dispose the of the game. Got it. You, you want to hold so on to one of those just uh, in case? Yeah. Well, yeah, we make no, we one. Okay. Yeah. We'll keep you one can here. take the rest. I'll just hold yeah. on just to all of them. Just keep those in your dressing room. Hopefully this, you won't have any, like, I'm set for life now. You're good. I'm set for life. At least for, like, a few weeks. You love getting out. And traveling, I do going elsewhere. Even if you have a moment, because you guys shoot year round, don't you? Pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. We um we we don't have seasons. We shoot year round, but we do have these little chunks of time, kind of evenly spaced throughout the year. I'm in one right now where we have a bit of time, and I usually put that to use. And you get on the bike. I get on the bike. That's that's what I do. I get on the bike and I pick a direction. I go north. Last one was north. Next one's going to be wow. east, I think. We well, used to say, just... and your bike is named Lilith. Lilith. Why Lilith? Lilith? That does not look like a Lilith to me. Yeah. That, looks that is like not a, a yeah. Bruce. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is? Is that it a Harley? Just, that is a Harley. That I'm a Harley guy. Um, I don't know. It just popped into my head. I have two bikes, and they both are named like any great ship after uh, oh. just a beautiful woman's name. Lilith, I don't know. It just popped into my head, and it seemed like such a dainty and delicate name for such an indelicate, monstrous <laughs> rocket ship of a thing. Juxtaposition. It stuck. Yeah. I like exactly. that word. It's lovely. <laughs> But Lilith and you kind of had a bit of a fight yeah. not too long ago. And yeah. you didn't come out winning. It was a rocky relationship. Uh, she tried to kill me once. Right. Um, <laughs> we've since come to terms, but uh, to like make a... It's almost like the theme a... of your soap opera. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? You right? I'm a living soap opera. I'm living it, like, in real life. So we got in an accident a year ago, and she tried to kill me. And um, you can see, uh, I almost lost this hand. I went down going really, really fast around a blind turn. And there will be a picture, I think, to show this at some when point. You, but my oh my hand goodness. was facing the wrong way. It was not a fun thing. There it is. Wait, um, you say it's a rocky relationship. It was a, yeah, rocky, it was a rocky relationship. Road. If you look really closely, there's actually some really lovely pine trees towards the top of that picture. Yeah. Um, pay no attention to the motorcycle and my leg pointing at the sky. That oh is, I had a GoPro running at the time. I, I didn't say, know it was running. that shot? It was stuck to my <laughs> gas tank, and I didn't know that it was running, but it taped the whole thing, and that is the exact moment that I made contact with the earth after leaving my bike at about 45. No. Wow. So and what ended up happening? Uh, I got up off the ground, and my right hand looked a lot like my left hand, so I changed that, and I put what was left of it across my chest, and I went running up the hill to try and find my friends who were in a car some miles behind me. And they stopped, and I was like, I have a situation. <laughs> Wait, your hand was backwards? I, I'd say. It was, but I fixed that. You, how'd you like, fix that? Like this. Okay, excuse me one second. Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, I think I'm That's why we need okay. to go back. Okay. No. You know, like Mr. Potato Thank Head? You. Yeah. It's kind of like that. And then I just oh. kind of delicately placed it here and went running up the hill. There's no cell signal out there, so I was lucky that I found them because I don't know what I would have done without them flagged somebody down and we got in their car and three hours later I got to a hospital where they very calmly informed me that that I was injured <laughs> but they wanted me to sign all this stuff first and I'm like I can't. 
<laughs> my hand is Could backwards. You, fix you it? see, it's, yeah. my arm is shaped like a Z. Oh, my goodness. Can I, it, has that altered your approach when you're going on trips anymore? Um, I feel it all the time, but no. No. So you just, you're not scared. You're still no, right no, out no, there. No, no, no. I got a yeah, bigger bike, and I'm going to go on a longer trip. And you got to get right back on that Lilith. And yep. Fly. Yep. Well, now we've got Sage. We'll have to, next time. You'll have to have me back, and I'll introduce you to Sage. I'll oh, bring her bring here. Bring Sage. Sage I'll bring here. Her. Wow. We'd like to meet her. She's a lovely lady, and she hasn't tried to kill me yet. So we're already off to a better you know start. I bet she has great advice because it would be. I bet be she does. Sage it would be sage advice. advice. Uh, That's a good smart. one. That's why I like it. So now you have. I understand on the road you find these trinkets. You find. As part of your journey, things that matter to you. In the I, I like to I like to share my adventures. So I, so these road trips have kind of instilled in me a, a great love for photography, and there's a whole bunch of those out there. But as, but while I'm on the road, I bring this is just really simple hemp cotton cord. I bring stuff with me. Uh -huh. When you're on the road, you're kind of ruled by the sun. So when the sun goes down, if I'm in the middle of nowhere, I don't like to ride at night too much. So I kind of pull over. That's it. That's we're yeah. done for the day. And I have a little campfire, and I sit around and I make stuff. But if I happen to be someplace where there are things that are fascinating. Yeah. I collect them and I bring them back. And I make you them made all of this into stuff? things. So I made all this stuff, some of which I made today. And on that note, <gasps> I actually made what? you both <gasps> some things. Yes. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I don't know if you're a fan of such a thing. Oh, I love look at, look at, beads. Look at, look at. So I'm going to sort look that out. How beautiful Oh, that's is. gorgeous. Oh. A little bit more masculine. For That's what I'm talking about. Look at, are you kidding me? That's beautiful. Yeah, those are beautiful. beautiful. You this, made these I, love I made these. For I'm going to call these sage. Call them sage. And you can call those Lilith. I'm not <laughs> interested in calling anything that I put on my body Lilith. <laughs> these but, are beautiful, beautiful. And you, you also made a company out of this, a business. Yeah, so it started with the photography is really what I wanted to do. And I, I do some events for the show, and they started talking about this. And so now it's kind of become both. And these. Or what I've made. The company's called Fortunate Wanderer. We should launch by this weekend. Um, and I make everything myself. I take all the pictures myself. I make all the stuff myself. And you also make sushi. I do make sushi. I think we're going to do you that at sushi. some point. We are going to do sushi. Yeah. yeah. Be sure to watch General Hospital weekdays, 2 o'clock, ABC.